Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase. We have some awesome additions for the Tabletop Tactics Obsidian Dragons here for you guys to check out. If you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, then here at Siege Studios, we're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff who all paint from our minimum standard, which is our bronze above tabletop level, all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, if you are interested in a quote with us, then very simply, all you need to do is in the description of this video, click on the link where it says get a quote, and that will take you to our our website's contact form which you need to complete by selecting the relevant drop down options that are for your project and for you and also in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is also shown on that contact form fire that off to us to get the process started and we'll come back to you with a quote uh, we're back in a second to have a look at these awesome models in more detail see you guys back in a second So let's jump in and have a look at these awesome Obsidian Dragon editions, uh, which we've recently completed for Lawrence and the guys at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, two units of Eliminators. Uh, we've got new Primaris Lieutenant in Phobos armor, uh, and we've also got the uh, Tech Marine, which has been obviously used using the uh, Iron Hands model as well, which was released recently. Really cool model. Uh, so let's dive in. Let's have a look at the Eliminators first of all. Uh, just really, really cool models, as you can see, matching the uh, rest of the army which Ben has completed. They've got these lovely, lovely camouflage cloaks here that have been done with some dirt and soot on them as well. Uh, red casings on the guns just to match the rest of the army. The complementary green lenses as well, which is really lovely. Same sort of. Um, style on the edging which is that chipped kind of damaged edge kind of highlight uh, style which we've gone for on these which is really cool all the script and everything done on those purity seals all the leather has got lovely bits of uh, weathering done to it as well which is lovely uh, that's just one of the uh, squad leaders Another one of the snipers here, just so you can see, really, really cool menacing figures with those uh, shrouds as well, which is really nice. So that's just him in a very sort of a stomach shooting pose. We've got a crouched dude here on the right, uh, just taking a shot again, as you can see, lovely, lovely models. Again, really, really cool. So that's just one of the squads. And pull forward the other one. Here's the other squad leader. You can see all the face details, all pretty highlighted, picked out eyes, teeth, a lot all done. Uh, moving around, you've got the same consistency from all the capes and everything. Again, a really, really cool commanding pose on this dude. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the other two, which are in awesome poses. Again, a little bit of masonry or scen uh, scenery there where this guy's taking a little bit of cover, reaching for a magazine there. Uh, you've got all the lenses done there, as you can see, and every aspect of detail fully painted on these awesome chaps as well. Um, and then the last guy from the second Eliminator squad is this dude with the pistol, which is really cool. Uh, really cool silence pistol there, which is lovely. Uh, again, more, some, some more scenery on this dude as well, just as you can see, but really, really cool pose on him uh, so that's just uh, the two squads of eliminators and pull forward the uh, phobos lieutenant again do love the dynamic pose on this guy just bleeping there about to impale someone with that knife rambo style blade there with the black side as well which is really really nice uh ben's done a stellar job in picking out all the little details and things you can see the uh the rest of his helmet there with the uh lieutenant chevrons all little screens and dials and buttons all done with the power tubes all the, with the uh, power cables with the chevrons on as well which is really lovely again really cool dynamic pose on this dude absolutely so you love him uh, again very mean and uh, a lot of movement in him so that's just him and then the uh, cherry on the cake we have this awesome awesome tech marine model uh, again really cool very defiant and uh, menacing pose on him he's just uh, bounding forward there as you can see with a raised leg and uh, every little detail fully painted all the purity seals and everything with all the script all the lenses gems everything all done lovely kind of electrified blade there on his huge axe as you can see there on both sides that were done all the little screens and everything fully done all the little uh, transfers added as well and all the metal work has got a lot of chipping and scratching on it as well huge belt feed there for that uh, impressive heavy bolter uh, as you can see there were some really good rules for that if you guys don't know it uh, so yeah really really cool and I do like the chevrons on the um, on the bit of scenery as well I think it's a really lovely little touch as well just to add some more colours to these models as well uh, obviously being black but they've got that lovely lovely kind of blue black kind of colour to them as well which is really nice so that's just this awesome awesome tech marine do hope you like him uh, and uh, we just decided to keep him black as well just incidentally just so, so that in case Lawrence wants to use him um, you know in future with uh, other other chapters and things like that we were going to do him red but to make it easier for him as a tech marine but no we kept it in keeping with the uh, with the black uh, obsidian dragons scheme as well which is really nice uh, so stick around we're back in a second to have a little bit more information on how you can take out a similar sort of project with us here at Siege I'll see you guys back in a second 
So guys, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it ever so much. I do hope you've liked these Zangors uh, for the guys over at Tables of Tactics. If you are unfamiliar with Tables of Tactics, then you need to go and check the channel out. We'll put a link to their channel directly in the uh, description below so you can go and have a look at that. Um, they, obviously, we love working on these and they've been had a great time working on these models. If you are interested in a character commission, squad or army commission with us here at Siege, then very simply what we need to do is head to our website through the link below where it says get a quote in the description. That link will take you directly to the Siege Studios contact form. Complete that by selecting the relevant drop-down options for your project and also in the message section include a list of models in our model list format uh, and then fire that off to us to get a quote back from us. While you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour, subscribe to the channel and uh, if you hit the, uh, the bell icon, you will be notified when we put new videos up as well. So that'll obviously be very helpful for you guys. And in the description, you can find all of the uh, links to our social media, so Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Go give us a like and follow respectively on those and uh, you can keep up to date with everything else we do. We have competitions, we have loads of different bits and bobs on our Instagram, so make sure you give us a follow on there. And finally, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.